Despite being born 81 years before the release of the first iPhone, Queen Elizabeth II reportedly had her own mobile phone that she used to text people, a new book has claimed. However, she had a special rule for her grandchildren's use of the devices, while apps left the monarch scratching her head. In Giles Brandert's book Elizabeth, An Intimate Portrait, which is being serialized in the Daily Mail, he wrote, she had her own mobile phone, and obliging grandchildren ready to show her how it worked. She understood texting, though was rather defeated by apps and she did not allow her grandchildren to bring their devices to the dining table, under any circumstances. The Queen's phone was reportedly so, advanced, as to be, unhackable, according to multiple royal commentators, but she only used it to regularly contact two special people. Commentator Jonathan Sacerdoti told Royally US that the Queen apparently has a mobile phone which is said to be a Samsung packed with anti-hacker encryption by MI6 so nobody can hack into her phone. Author and broadcaster Brian Hoey, who wrote the biography of Princess Anne and Invitation to the Palace, How the Royal Family Entertained, said the Queen's phone was among the most advanced in the world. Queen had her own mobile phone, but had one strict rule all royals had to follow, Image, Getty, the Queen oversaw many technological leaps in her lifetime, Image, Getty. He added that she had a personal assistant who would keep the device charged for her. However, it has been claimed that she only used the device to contact two people, her daughter Princess Anne, and her racing manager John Warren. By keeping in regular phone contact with the Princess Royal, the Queen continued a family tradition, having been known to have long phone conversations with her own mother. Mr. Warren, meanwhile, is the son-in-law of the late Earl of Carnarvon, George Herbert, who was friends with the Queen and served as her racing manager until he died in 2001 and who also lived in the idyllic country house used to film Downton Abbey. Read more, Queen battled cancer in final years, Philip's friend says, reveal, the Queen with King George VI in the early 20th century, using a rotary phone, image, Getty. He oversaw all of the Queen's racing and horse breeding interests for the last 20 years, a position of such great importance to Her Majesty that it meant he was, reportedly, the only person who could get in contact with her from anywhere in the world. Mr. Sacerdoti said, if he calls, she answers. But a sophisticated mobile phone wasn't the only way by which the Queen, whose coronation was the first to be fully televised around the world, kept up with technology. Mr. Hoey claimed Her Majesty even had a secret Facebook account, which she used to watch short videos. Mr. Hoey said, there has been news that the Queen has a secret Facebook account, which I can't quite believe. Don't miss, Queen coped with death of Prince Philip by watching Line of Duty, reveal, Queen's one-word response when Andrew confessed Epstein connection, insight, Camilla forced to double take at state dinner due to Charles, analysis, the new book claims that the Queen was used to using her phone, but was defeated by apps, image, Getty, trending, I have difficulty with new technology, but she appears perfectly capable to pick these things up. He also revealed Her Majesty used video calls during lockdown to chat to people. She even took to Twitter in 2014, to commemorate the opening of a science museum exhibit. From the Royal Family Twitter account, she wrote, It is a pleasure to open the Information Age exhibition today at the Science Museum, and I hope people will enjoy visiting. Elizabeth R. Then in 2016, she sent her second and third tweets ever. She said, I am most grateful for the many digital messages of goodwill I have received and would like to thank you all for your kindness. Elizabeth R. This was followed shortly by a confirmation that the message was definitely from the Queen, which read, This tweet was personally sent by Her Majesty the Queen.